To create reflection text inside of Adobe After Effects, we first just want some text. So we'll press T, type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we can turn on the proportional grid. We'll go to the character window and we can change the font. We can change the weight of the font. We can increase the size. We can add some line separation. All of these are the settings, but then you just want to place this just above this center line. Now, once you're happy with that text, we'll make a copy of that. So we'll go Command C and Command V. That is copy paste. Or if you're on Windows, that is Control C, Control V. Now on the bottom layer, just want to select that and then drag this top point all the way down to create this stretched reflection. And then we'll just press the down button on the keyboard a few times just to create a bit of separation. Now we'll turn off the proportional grid because we no longer need that. We'll go up to the rectangle tool, select that reflection layer. Make sure you do select it because if you don't, you'll end up drawing a rectangle shape. So make sure you select that bottom layer. Then we're just going to draw a mask around the bottom half of this. We'll go into that mask. So masks, mask one, make sure inverted is selected. Then we're just going to increase the feather all the way up to a really high number. So somewhere around 180. Feel free to move this mask around if you wanted to see less of that text. And then we'll just go into transform and we'll pull the general opacity all the way down to a smaller number. And that will create this nice reflection effect. Of course, if you wanted to, you could add a blur. So if we go into effects and presets, search for blur, you can drop any one of these on, but I like to use Gaussian blur or a Gaussian blur. Increase that number, make sure repeat edge pixels is on, and that's going to create a softer blur. Now, if you wanted to affect these at the same time, go into layer, new, null object, select both of those and pair them to the null object. And now when we go into null and transform, when we move the position, it will affect both layers. So if we wanted to put the main text in the center, then we can just by affecting the null. But that is your reflection text inside of Adobe After Effects now created.